Seekahost, Domain Name Registrar and Web Hosting Provider. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Gautam, Technical Support Manager from Seekahost. Today in this video, we are going to see how to install WordPress using Softpack Plus. We choose on this topic because we have various customers as a beginners who are facing various issues during the WordPress installation. Also, in Zikahost, we provide offers for the new bloggers or the new business people who start a business as a startup or a business. So, today in this video, we are going to see how to install WordPress using Softpack Plus. Before directly going to the installation, we could see that what are the requirements are. The requirements are very simple, you should have a live domain, which means that the domain should be live over the web and else the cPanel access of the live domain and the software plus software in the uh, cPanel. So let's move on. So I have here, I have a domain called reinformationservice.co.uk and I have cPanel access of it. So I'm going to test whether the site is live or not. So for that I'm going to Google, sorry, I'm just opening a browser and I'm going to place my site there. Yes, it's loading. So there are in my cPanel it's very fresh and there's uh, nothing in it. So it's showing like the index. So what I'm going to see is that I'm going to the cPanel login. To reach the cPanel login of a site of a live site, it is just enough to place slash cPanel after the domain. So I'm doing it. Okay, here it is requesting for username and password. So I'm just going there, copying the username. Copying the password, pasting it, clicking on login. Okay, now I have the login details and I logged in into my cPanel account. So here, what I'm going to see, that I'm going to search for Softpack Plus. Yes, here you can see that Softpack Plus apps installer. So I'm just gonna click on it. Yes, it is showing that you can install WordPress, Authentic Card, Free Shop, and various Zoom, Blood, Agencies, and blah 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 things. So here I'm going to choose WordPress. I'm clicking on install. It will request for the configuration. So here what I'm going to choose is that HTTP with www. If you need to use www here, you want to change it in general settings. So I'm just giving it HTTP colon slash www. And here my domain is this use my domain and instead of wp I want it to happen in the main domain. So I'm just removing the wp and here my site name is Survey Information Service. Information blog. This is my site description. Okay, here I'm going to keep my username and password as admin and pass itself. And email will be the same. Also, I am going to use this plugin to secure it. But also you can use some advanced options like automatic upgrading options. For example, here if you enable this one, it will be upgrading automatically. And this, if you enable this checkbox, it will be upgrading your WordPress plugin automatically without any request or anything from the from our side. It will automatically upgrade the WordPress plugins, WordPress themes without any confirmation from the user. So I'm not going to pick anything here. So I'm just going below. And if you want to choose anything, you can choose it, or else you will be installed with the basic theme. So I don't want any of these themes, so I'm just going to click on install. It will take a minute to get installed. So let's wait. Yes, you can see here that congratulations, the software was installed successfully. So here you can see that the administrative URL. Copy this URL. And I will be pasting it here. It will request for a login. Yes, my username is admin. The pass is pass. Yes, the site is working, so I am now going to see the site in the site. You can see that. That's it. The WordPress is installed. This is how we will be installing WordPress using Softpack software. 
also here I would like to add few things you can go to dashboard and go to this set you can set go to settings that is settings if suppose if you really add www there you want to add it here here you can see that the WordPress address you are here it will be just like HTTP if you need it add www in, during installation you can add it here there is no problem in it also you want to update this IT world here also you want to update both the things and you want to click on save changes so that, that so that it will be getting updated if you have any issues during your WordPress installation you can drop the problems below or else you can Come to chat in the Zika Host website or else in the Zika Host Facebook page. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching.